Melissa, receive the holy scriptures. Feed the flock of Christ committed to your charge. Guard and defend them in his truth and be a faithful steward of his holy word and sacraments. Dearly beloved people of God, I present Melissa Bishop in the Church of God.
I did this as a kid, that's why I have some, I have some training in sealing wax. Hello, good afternoon, welcome to the Vancouver East Convention Center, welcome to the ordination, consecration and installation of the ninth Bishop of New Westminster, Melissa Skelton. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome all of you to this very special occasion. It's a very special day for our dear Melissa, who is beginning a new journey. And dear Melissa, we understand what journeys are, because as human beings, we are on them constantly every day with the grace of God. On behalf of my brother, Chief Wayne Sparrow, he has trusted me to come here on behalf of him to welcome all of you. I want to welcome all of you, and particularly those of you who are visitors here today. There are many special visitors. Uh, count yourself among them. And there are others here who have been specially invited to be with us to represent other communities. So I want to welcome all of you from various church communities and beyond who are here today. I want to welcome our visiting bishops from the Episcopal Church of the United States. And particularly, I want to give thanks and welcome our beloved primate who is able to be with us here today. Shua, what does he mean? Shura Kamu Leiva, 
私を捉えた。第二次金克，哥林多后书，第五章十四到二十节。Jesus said, "You are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how can its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything, but is thrown out and trampled underfoot." I do want to take one liberty now with my place here at this pulpit to especially thank Bishop Michael Ingham. Who journeyed with me as we began and strengthened that relationship? He is a colleague and a friend, and I thank him for all that he did in this time. Thank you. We all gather today in this place to make a bishop, to name a bishop. Melissa is her name. Melissa is your name. But you might just as well be renamed, because Bishop is about to become your first name. <laughs> I could tell you that no one I have ever worked with has more energy, can multitask more efficiently, and basically make you tired just by watching her than Melissa. That she has gotten more accomplished by 9 a.m. most days than I can in a whole day. But many of you in this room already know that. And for those of you that don't, you are about to find out. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, I, Melissa Skelton, chosen Bishop of the Church and See of New Westminster, solemnly declare that I do believe the Holy Scriptures of the Old and New Testaments to be the Word of God, and to contain all things necessary to salvation. I do solemnly promise to conform to the doctrine, discipline, and worship of the Anglican Church of Canada, and I do pledge myself to render due obedience to the Metropolitan of British Columbia and Yukon and to his successors. So help me, God, through Jesus Christ. Is it your will that we ordain Melissa a bishop? It is. And will you uphold Melissa as bishop? We will. Send down your Holy Spirit upon your servant Melissa. Whom we consecrate in your name to the office and work of a bishop in the church. Almighty Father, fill this your servant with the grace and power which you gave to your apostles. That she may lead those committed to her charge in proclaiming the gospel of salvation. Through her, increase your church, renew its ministry, and unite its members in a holy fellowship of truth and love. Enable her, as a true shepherd, to feed and govern your flock. Make her wise as a teacher. And steadfast as a guardian of its faith and sacraments.
Melissa, receive the holy scriptures. Feed the flock of Christ committed to your charge. Guard and defend them in his truth and be a faithful steward of his holy word and sacraments. Melissa, receive this staff as a sign of your pastoral office. Dearly beloved people of God, I present Melissa Bishop in the Church of God. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. May God be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift up your hearts to God. Let us give thanks to God our Creator. Give thanks to give our thanks and praise. Blessed are you, gracious God, Creator of heaven and earth. To the new we give you thanks and praise through Jesus Christ our Lord, who came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for me. He calls his faithful servants to lead your holy people in love, and nourish them by your word and sacrifice. Always what we'll do is always point them this way. So yes. all you have to do is operate okay, on Okay, great. So we don't have to wear that yet, quite yet, right? You can wear it now if you wish. I, what would you like to do? I think maybe when we get there. Then what you can do is stand, give John the crozier, <coughs> yes. give me the miter, mm -hmm. and then say,
with the assistance of those bishops in God whose names are hereto subscribed, consecrate our beloved in Christ, Melissa Maxine Skelton, BA, MA, MBA, MD. <laughs> having been duly elected to be the Bishop of the See of New Westminster in the Ecclesiastical Province of British Columbia, Yukon, according to the form, rights, and custom of the Anglican Church of Canada. Melissa, I pass to you this pastoral style, a symbol of your office as Bishop of New Westminster. May Christ, the Good Shepherd, so uphold and sustain you that you may lead with courage and guide with love those committed to your charge.